welcome. <laughs> I'm so glad that you can join me. Here today, such a lovely day. One ninety seven, and this is an audio visual version from the Sovereign Light, named after my ministry and the course in metaphysical spirituality, consists of 319 videos, segments, <clears throat> and here today happens to be segment 171 out of 319 and excerpts from 527 pages and 28 of 852. Welcome to this program. And my name is Reverend Maria Arvanitidis. <clears throat> and taking in the sunshine, fresh air and nature all around me. Won't you join me? From zooming in and zooming out into an extended expansion, The self has now developed a sense in all of this restructuring. In early reading and as the observer that we practice to become in observation mode, it has been taught this practice and seeing right up close for all the things it had overlooked before. Macrospection and microspection and each and every angle that would reinterpret our perception from a variant perspective. <laughs> <clears throat> And I don't claim to be some kind of channeler or prophet, and sometimes I feel to blame for the things that happen. <laughs> but as we, as we learn and come to take responsibility and acknowledge in a sense that perhaps it wasn't our responsibility, but in a sense we have become leaders in this way to be able to see the outcomes of these many probabilities that impress upon from the, the overall collective of minds and how they perceive and what they believe when they come together to create this oneness. What in fact they're creating is these probable outcomes and it has absolutely nothing to do with our foresight of awareness. But yes, we can do when we learn to take our own side rather than take other sides. What it is that our mission, how we are to not take the blame for all these things that happen and realize when it is our responsibility to do something and reenact and act within these measures. And so, as we continue on, we will continue to, to practice this uh, observation mode and see how we can find more when we expand and when we contract <clears throat> to focus on the details, perhaps, or go general in the expansion of it all. So just breathe that in for a moment. And see, see with 
within all these beautiful things that our awareness brings forth for us to reinterpret and just how exactly we might perceive each and every thing that presents itself throughout the day. Do we go general or do we contract into the focus of each and every detail? So, zooming in and zooming out <clears throat> from every inspiration, may I feel the bliss of elevation. that finds my higher self to meet it there. So when we allow more light to come in, we are in fact allowing our soul and consciousness and higher self and over soul to merge and synergistically create within this alignment this thing we call truth our reality <clears throat> so with your eyes closed or open or just listen in just like they would with Church of Scientology if you will I did I, I did practice that back in the 80s when they first came out for a couple of years purchased their books and I've learned quite a few things that you can do these observations or meditations or um, you don't have to have your eyes closed to take in this activation that you may grasp to understand in that it can bring change or reaffirm and help you to supportively become your best self. And so <clears throat> might we invite these words in and speak them from every inspiration may I feel the bliss of elevation that finds my higher self to meet it there To meet it there, that congregation point, find it and connect it as your thalamus and hypothalamus and all the parts of your brain conglomerate and come together synergistically. to realign within for your own best interest and that of the greater good collective. <clears throat> so what is it that you can do for the greater good? Will they listen? Will they hear you out? Or will they just go about their day to have this predictable outcome and was there anything that you have seen that you can to help when they don't listen? To deaf ears that you may speak to? To blind eyes that you might want to bring so that they can be and 
do out of that predicament or see how they could change it. For the most part, we can to plant seeds and all these things, but if we don't engage with the populace in a way that they can relate to, it will all go on deaf ears. So pretty much we have to kind of enforce, force, through trickery and all these other ways of the way it's been done before. And for the most part, not every light worker conspires to work in that direction. And so the message gets lost. And for that, the experience must be that. Even if it means to become an enslaved world and an enslaved reality, that's the experience that the greater good deserves because that's all they know, because anything else would be out of their limits of programming. So no matter the greatest leader of all, if they're not in that reality to be able to be in that level. As I was speaking before with uh, one of those stories of Artemis, this, this was just a, a sample of an archetypical uh, thing that happened of a, a girl in her tribe who went and and just kind of you know when you look at it from that lower density sleeping state reality it could be interpreted as a cowardly act or as bravery so when you're looking at it from that lower density tribal uh, belonging it was a girl went up into a cave dressed as a bear that she already had killed from before, like a bear, and she dressed up in bear's clothing and looked like a bear, went into the cave to slay the big bad bear that everybody talked about within her tribe. So when she went in, the bear took her in as one of her own cubs. And then the bear went to sleep, and that's when she slayed it, slid its throat and brought it back to the tribe and that was an act of bravery and they saw her as a goddess and that was one aspect of a story and a myth told put on in the labeling name and called her Artemis okay and so that was one sliver of a soul awareness of that of higher self to be interpreted and identified and labeled at the same time was it not a cowardly act from what level from a, a higher uh, vibrating frequency that from which higher self does is Or if you'd like creator God being would it not be considered amongst those vibrational entities within that reality considered a cowardly act yes but the lore in vibration that we descend into those tribal uh, formations it's seen as bravery and from there it's looked upon as something that person is entitled to much higher greatness than everybody else. And so that person becomes a leader and gets uh, listened to, and then everybody's eyes open to that person, and they become their guide and all these other things. In the same sense, I don't claim to say I channel anything like all the other channelers that say, oh, let's do a meditation, and oh, let's gather around, and, and now we're channeling so-and-so, or we're channeling 
gotta sum boom boo or you know and all these other things that people have never heard about before we kind of try to do a similar relating to what already has been and try to recreate it somehow but no it's it's something that it has to go in that kind of direction make that kind of impact for any changes to occur so we have to allow what is meant to happen and just be and with that said perhaps people can upgrade into a higher state and if they don't they recycle and go back again and the disconnect amongst us and the earth and everything else brings another entity to control everybody with so one thing we do have in this reality on this planet is called free will and when something is being done against our will without our consent then it is dark magic it's not of the light it's not of the true true light it's of the false white light that is all around us to deceive us into an illusion of reality that might be and this is why we feel so uncomfortable and feel always we must compromise that's not a grown-up thing to do oh you just gotta grow up and and be compromised with yourself and everything else that's not it that's not called growing up that's called remaining asleep and so I will continue on and you can to join me or opt out or you know see how much you can connect by letting everything else go and repeat these words that come together to join a prayer like affirmation that you can to help support yourself throughout the day and work through any shadows that come your way to oppose and restrain and resist and create conflict in this way ready sounds good Whew. just breathe through the heart if you can from every inspiration may I feel the bliss of elevation that finds my higher self to meet it there from every inspiration may I feel the bliss of elevation that finds my higher self to meet it there from every inspiration may I feel the bliss of elevation that finds my higher self to meet it there and the more we continuously upgrade and evolve may our thalamus expand and grow to obtain this wisdom and the ability to relate 
on these levels of higher frequency. Allow for the stillness of the mind so the heart can open and with every deep breath in stretch and expand for more light and peace to join you here in this present moment and as Ram Das would say be here now and then I modify to add here and the now with love love be here now and feel this love here and now do you feel the vibration of this frequency of this higher state of consciousness look up close and maneuver freely with the choice to see the miracles this magic beautifully unfolding never before and now not necessary to take sides but your own have you ever done that take your own side anything else will just confuse and confusion is just unprocessed information so as this tree behind me I can feel the roots and rather than have the wind take me out from this grounding I allow it to work th right through me in a way of catharsis and just like any shower or water that I may be cleansed with in the ethereal air like I am being cleansed by this air that filters through me and changed perspective from its one small limited self will no longer be the case to argue over when you take sides from all the many divisions <laughs> and just bring it back to the law of the one and only learn how to take your own side This will require taking no other side. The heart has raised and shifted the self-awareness enough to accept the higher self with. The nurturing feeling of love has opened the heart and made it fertile for the soul. When a space is made sacred within the heart, the bridge of no time is created. 
then it has found the soul anchored within the space and the self has now stepped into the physical as a sovereign being. The sovereign light comes from this higher self and the soul now within the heart space has anchored it. Expand this perspective and begin to look on what is over and beyond the edge to create different choice points. When the sacred heart is open, more perspectives have a way with reaching into the mind, the thalamus of the self, to grasp. So, from every inspiration, may I feel the bliss of elevation that finds my higher self to meet it there. The lower heart was closed before and split off from the will of the self. The ego mind had the power and could only operate with it because the soul and just like the higher self would not play on other lower levels. Even if it tried, it would end up as a victim. It just can't be. It just can't be in that reality. Even the ego mind can be reintegrated into a higher aspect so with it so not every see energy is n neither gained or lost nothing is ever really lost it's just integrated and upgraded and so transmuted, transformed, <laughs> and uh, within the higher heart, the soul can have a place to anchor in with the physical and to engage with higher self again. This is a transfiguration. And with every tri aspect of transmutation, transfiguration, transformation, we continuously transcend. In this reality, dreams do come true because the self can hold the dream to manifest onto the earth. And this is what it means to be sovereign. Manifest is just another reinterpretation of being a creator within your reality. Manifestation is a lower third dimensional word, like miracle is to magic. Manifestation is, is the only way that lower, more dense sleeping people can relate in the same way as they do with the meaning of miracles. That again is a third dimensional concept. When you move up in levels, and this is how you can leverage where everybody's coming from and what reality you're engaging with. With the words 
that are used to interpret from their own meaning because the word magic is taboo but when you really transcend from that lower level into a fifth dimensional being you find the truth behind the magic and you realize you come to the realization that manifestations are forced upon impressions infesting from mankind that have already been a symptom of corruption in this world that has been forced upon us and when we slowly come out of those sacrificial ways of seeing magic as miracles yes this is hitting you with a two by four the meanings and you learn to let go of all these concepts you begin to lighten up and it all starts to come together synergistically synchronistically and aligned again I'll use a third dimensional word in harmony So there's various ways of discerning. So today, keep practicing how to come out of that zooming out programming for as long as it can be tolerated and repeat for the following to activate for this intention. From every inspiration, may I feel this bliss of elevation that finds my higher self to meet it there. With eyes closed, still the mind and zoom back into the awareness of the centered self and from a childlike perspective, be that child before the many layers of zooming out established in its perspective. From every inspiration, may I feel the bliss of elevation that finds my higher self to meet it there. From every inspiration, may I feel the bliss of elevation that finds my higher self to meet it there. From every inspiration, may I feel the bliss of elevation that finds my higher self to meet it there. May you find grounding in these words.